it going, everybody? It's me, it's your friends, the Aqua Commentator. Welcome back to yet another episode of Astral Chain. In the last episode, we had the occurrence of my first death in this entire series. Hopefully my one and only death in this entire series. We also did a lot of stuff that I don't remember, even though it was literally minutes ago that I did this because I'm recording all four episodes. Episodes 28 through 31 in one setting because I want to clear this entire file in one. Whoa, hi. The homunculus, it's on the side of that building. It's absorbing more data. That can't be good. Get rid of it, quick! If it evolves any further, even you might not be able to handle it. You know what? As long as the homunculus is actually absorbing them, and I don't have to worry about fighting the chimeras for a little bit, and I can just get on with my life and do all my stuff. I got 80% red matter clean. That's freaking awesome. There's a fly crate hidden over here, so be sure you uh, stay on the lookout for that. As long as he's doing that, I don't have to worry about any of the chimeras. I'm just gonna do my thing, get all these items, get the toilet, because believe it or not, the toilet is actually here. Man, I got Shockwave on my Sword Legion. That's actually a little different than what I usually have, but it, it's a okay. Uh, I think we gotta go, yeah, we gotta go over here. Believe it or not, there is a dropped item, I believe, over here. Yep, no, a buried item, actually not a dropped item. And I think that's the one and only, not the one and only, but wait. No, we got two buried items here. Gosh darn it, I missed one. And I missed a dropped item, too. Where did I miss a dropped item? Oh, there's a supply crate over there. Alright, well, first things first. Supply crate over here after I get all this red matter right here. It's gonna bug me if I don't get it right here. You know, file 6 and file 7 have been the most I've ever done. Well, not the most I've ever done, but these last two files have been pretty well. I've been getting a lot of supply crates, a lot of dropped items. I got a few of the buried items, and here's the toilet. Okay, emergency blanket. Emergency blanket is a toilet paper of sorts. Okay, interesting. I hope to God I can make that. I can. Actually, no, if I come over here to the corner right here. Yeah, a little better, Tage. A little freaking better. Don't think there's anything over there. 34. Wow. Yeah, I did extremely well. And I believe I got 9 out of 12 red cases. I don't know what other red cases I may or may not have missed. Actually, no, I think there's a red case up here the moment we get up this ladder. Yeah, there is. This might be a relatively short episode. Be about to find out. Supply crate number 35 over here. Okay, so I know two of the supply crates that I missed are behind that one wall. I don't know about the last supply crate, though. Maybe I... Yeah, I already forgot. absorbing more chimeric energy. I've got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Hell yeah, I freaking love this soundtrack playing right here. So remember, Proto Legions are different from normal Chimeras. You will not be able to finish these guys off. You're simply just going to be defeating them. Because Proto Legions are legions that were meant to be, well, legions, obviously, with the name. Okay, I'm going to get on my beast. I got Speed Rock. I got Speed Star activated, so I should be able to do some little damage to this guy with my Gladius. Surprised I haven't taken hit yet! No, I still didn't get hit. I thought that was a hit right there, but it's okay. What kind of weapon is that Proto Legion right there? Oh, is he dead? No, yeah, I think he's down. Yeah, what kind of weapon is that Pro Low Legion right there? That guy's obviously a short sword and shield. Part of me thinks that guy is another form of the Arm Legion. He's gotta be, right? Okay, I can do my Howl again. I can do Power Charge. Okay, I'm going to Speed Star, and we are just going to obliterate this guy right here. I think this is not this fight in particular, but the fight against the Homunculus that we're about to do is one of my favorite... One of my favorite fights in the game. Not... Okay, honestly, it's probably a little better than Kyle. But, man, when you guys see this fight right here... It, this fight made me absolutely shit my pants the first time I saw it. Especially with the freaking name. And with how the homunculus goes. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, we got one more Proto-Legion. I believe he's a... Yeah, he's another form of arrow. It's kind of weird having an arrow just fused together. Or a bow and arrow inside your arm. Or as your arm. I don't know how that would be. 
Oh yeah, I forgot, failed to mention, probably obvious, but Akira is helping us. Case clear. Nice! S plus, hell yeah. And here we go. Quite tenacious, aren't you? How much longer do you intend to stand in my way? I think it's about time to end this. Well then, here's your big chance. I trust you can deal with it on your own. Don't let me down, Howard. Here it is, guys. If we managed to take down this homunculus here and now, then we are free. We are a free woman. The government, or not the government, but Yosef will clear our entire record of what we did going into Zone 09. And for its suburbanation, so... Do not be fooled by his appearance right now. Homunculus Beta, once again. Trust me, the Homunculus will change forms after we deplete his HP down a certain amount. My god, the Soundtrack Blade right now! So, a little different. He's going to be jumping a lot, as you guys can tell right here. He still has his normal attacks where he fires a beam out of his mouth. And he's got... I don't know if any of the Homunculus have done this yet, but he's got a new form of attack where he'll send us spikes out at us. Here we go! Homunculus Gamma. Can you imagine if this was a Homunculus Omega? My god, just look at him. So, with Homunculus Gamma, he's actually the first Homunculus that we are fighting that's not on our force. So what you want to do with this guy is, remember that one thing that officer told us before where we had to remove the plating? Well, we have to do just that. His attacks, honestly, he's probably going to be mainly consisting of stomping on you and trying to smash you. So, remove his plating. You can bind his legs if you guys want to. But I believe that's going to be a little harder. Also, don't worry about his beam too much. Unless you're actually within his line of sight, he will not. the beam will not affect you. And yeah, he's still going to jump around like a freaking idiot and all that jazz. Oh crap, he's currently down. Awesome. And if you guys want, you can remove the plating that's on his arms too. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. Speed star. Uh, throw a grenade. Did I just throw? Oh, no, I took some medicine. Okay, okay, that's fine. There's that beam there. Okay, I'm gonna hit rush with my arrow legion. Beastie, come on out! Well, that was a fail, now wasn't it? I want to try to bind his legs, but at the same time, he's moving a little too fast for me! There I go again, messing up that move right there, my god. Run, man, run! Uh, get on the beast! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's try binding him, see how well that works! Man, this fight is intense. Okay, that's one leg. Let's go for the other one. That's two. He should topple down or fall down for a bit. I don't remember exactly. Yep, he's down. Okay, let's get some energy spike. Arm Legion, I need you to do that. And then hit rush. Okay, he's attacking his arm. Okay, this is not doing as much damage as I wanted it to. Okay, I have... I have stuff. I have item stage. Use your freaking item stage. Eventually, the homunculus is gonna jump over to the side of the building over there. Once you deplete his HP down to a certain amount. I believe once you get him down... Yep, there he goes. So now, we are going to switch to our arrow legion, and we are just going to shoot this mother effer. Shoot him in the head, because why not? Okay. 
Now he's gonna have a barrage of attacks, whether it's spikes or throwing that nasty goop at you. Yes. And he can do that too. Oh, I'm about to die again, aren't I? Yeah, this homunculus fight is intense. I love it so much. It's probably my favorite of the homunculus. For good reason. Just look at this guy. This guy is friggin' awesome. And I'm gonna keep doing this right here. Because after a certain amount of HP is completed, he will come back. Okay, there goes that goop. Get out of there. Ooh. Energy spike. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Out of it. Out of the goop. Out of the goop. Oh, more goop. Okay, I don't... I think these things will explode after a while. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to stop. Okay. Charge up. Okay, there we go, there we go. He's coming back. Okay, I'm going to get my Sword Legion. Okay, now... I believe... He, oh my god, the soundtrack plane right here, too. Amazing, I love it. Get rid of that plating that's around his arm. I don't think he's gonna go back over to the building at any time. So just go to town, go hammer, destroy this guy! I love that fight so much. And he's gone. That was a fun fight. C. I don't even care how bad of a grade I got. That was a fun friggin' fight right there. The energy readings are gone. And you're all right. I'm so glad. This is Akira. I lost visual contact with Jenna at the West Harmony Square connector. Roger that. All Neuron officers continue searching for Jenna Anderson. Akira, bring your sister to the command room back at HQ. Commander Yosef's orders. Roger. Well, looks like I'm missing all the action thanks to you. Eh. Whatever. Let's get you back to the station. <laughs> Relax, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you've more than earned your forgiveness. I'll even put in a good word for you. And that is file number seven. It was labeled wild for a reason. I'm trying to think of what case I, what red case I missed. I know I got all the blue cases, but a good majority of those blue cases were gate disposals. Honestly, all the blue cases in this file were absolutely easy. Not to mention, 35 out of 38, one dropped item and one buried item. I know where two of the spike rates are. They're behind that one wall we couldn't get where we fought Minotaur. So that's two of them right there. I just don't know where that last one is. That's gonna be uh, defined. 91% complete. Wow. Ooh, level up! Your health and duty point rewards. Your health and duty rewards have increased. Nice. Oh, we get Marie's cap. How cute. We get to look like Marie. Well, maybe not look like Marie, but we get to wear a little cap that's adorable. Rank expert. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me here back on yet another episode of Astro Chain. Really hope to see you guys back here in the next episode. Really hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll catch all of you later.